Hello there, welcome back to Oneit. On this video demo, I will show you how to install Windows 10 on a VirtualBox virtualization software. So for our objectives, at the end of this video lecture or video demo, you should be able to install Windows 10 on a VirtualBox virtualization software. So after the installation, we should be able to rename Windows 10 to Oneit C01 as required by the end user. So before we proceed with demo, so please check the prerequisite video. This video demonstration requires installing and configuring VirtualBox. So this is video 01, installing and configuring VirtualBox on our playlist. Okay, so to start with, so let me open my virtual box here. So let me launch my virtual box. All right. So we have now one virtual machine on our virtual box. Okay. So this is the server that we have just created from the previous video. So we are now going to create our second virtual machine and we will be using Windows 10 to power it up, okay? So just like the same procedures that we performed or followed during the installation of Windows Server. So we could go ahead and click new here, okay? So let's name it. So as per the requirement, so the name is one it C01. C01 because later on, on this course, we will be configuring this as our first workstation or first client. So that's why I name it C01. Okay. So for the type of operating system, so it's still Windows, Microsoft Windows. So this time we will be installing Windows 10. Okay. So I'll have Windows 10 here, 64 bit. So beware of the number of bits for your installers. So you have to check your host if it is a 32 bit or 64 bit. So in my case, I am using a Windows 10 64 bit, so I'll be installing a Windows 10 64 bit also on my virtual box. All right, so hit next here. Okay, so for the size of the RAM, so let's just accept the default, but you could resize it depending on the amount of RAM you have on your computer. Okay, so but then you could change it later on or after you after the installation, so if desired. Right, so for now, let me just accept it and hit next here. So create a virtual box hard disk now. Create. Okay, so same. So choose a VDI or the virtual box disk image and then hit next. Okay, so for the storage on physical hard disk, so let's use dynamically allocated. Next. Default uh, settings for the size. So create. Okay, so we have successfully created our second workstation or the second virtual machine and we named it as Oneit, so powered by Windows 10, All right? So let's start the virtual machine, double click. All right, so this will ask us to locate the installer, okay? So we have to look on our installer. So my installer is on downloads. So let me go ahead and click add there. And then my installer is in here, Windows 10, All right? Highlight it and then click. And then we're going to add it, okay? So you've got Windows 10 there multiple editions version 1607. So choose and then start. So our next or second virtual machine will now be installing. Okay. So let's wait for the installation to get it done. Let's close this. Okay. So the first screen is of course similar to Windows on 2019 or Windows Server 2019. 
it's a language to install so you just have to choose english there us all right so no worries on uh, on it so english philippines so you could also change this so if we have english philippines there okay so if none well you could leave it on the default okay so keyboard or input method is us also so let's just accept all these default settings and then hit next okay so we're now ready to install windows 10 on our virtual box so let's hit install now to install the windows 10 os so this will take some time to finish Okay, so for the serial, okay, so you could go ahead and hit next. So we could set this up later on. Okay, so for now, I don't have the product key. Okay, so we will be installing Windows 10 Pro because if you're going to install Windows 10 Home, so that is not capable of connecting to the domain. So you have to choose Windows 10 Pro here and then hit next. Okay, so I agree. And then next. Okay, so custom install. No need for uh, partitioning. Hit next. Okay, so let's wait until it gets done. All right, so let us resume. So you can have here custom or use express settings. So it's up to you. Okay. So, but then let's click on customize here. Okay. So customize settings. If you want to set the personalization, location, all right. So you just have to click next here. Okay. Next. Okay. So next is we are going to configure and rename windows 10 okay so we have to rename it as one at c01 so let's just wait for a moment to get it done all right so next so you will be prompted with who owns this PC. So we are going to assume that this is part of the work group. Okay. So our assumption is we will be doing this installation because we want to join this on a network. And we want this computer to be part of the one network. So let me just choose my work or school owns it. Okay. So next. Okay, so next would be choose how you'll connect. Okay, so we could set this up later on, but we will be joining this Windows 10 to a local active directory. Okay, so click this. So if you are, if you plan to join your PC to a domain, okay, so you could have some offer here, all right, from the installer. Just go ahead and click next for now. Right, but we will be doing the configuration of this and joining this computer into a domain onto the next video. So for now, we just have to install it. Okay, so next would be who's going to use this PC. Okay, so this username that we're going to create is an administrative account. Okay, so let's let me just name it one it also. Okay, so for the sake of having the same username all throughout. So we want it there. Password should be a strong password. All right. Okay. Password hint. Secret. Next. All right. So we're finally done. Okay. 
So we're done with the installation of Windows 10. So next is let's check if the um, computer name is already set. So let's do it. So again, we go to properties. Okay, so this is how I used to check the name. Okay, so click on the folder and then right click on this PC properties. So the computer name is not yet set, right? So we need to set it based on the requirement objective number two and set it to one at C01. So to change it, you could click change setting. All right. And then to rename this computer or change its domain or work group, click change. Okay. So I want it to name or to be named one at C01. All right. So hit OK. All right. OK. Close. It would be requesting for the restart. So let's restart it. All right. So let's try to log in. Let's close this. So to log in. So of course, we need to have the username. OK. So which was set to one at. Our password is the password set. Okay. So after we logged in, we have to check if we have already or successfully changed the host name to one at C01. All right, so let's verify that. Okay, so right click on this PC here. Properties. All right, so we have successfully changed the computer name to one at C01. Okay, so that's how easy it is to install Windows 10 on a virtual box virtualization software. Okay, on the next video, we will be installing Windows 7. Okay, so as part of our network infrastructure for the course. Okay, so that's the end of this demo. So for now, thank you for watching and listening and have a great day. See you on the next video.